So today I'm talking about a Chevrolet or GMC with the P0301 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the P0301 code? Well, it's a cylinder one misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically, as the piston is moving up and down inside of cylinder one, it's going to go through different cycles. There's going to be an intake cycle where air and fuel goes into the cylinder. And then the piston is going to come back up. And when it reaches the top, there's going to be a spark plug that ignites this whole mixture that's going to send the piston back down. And the whole cycle is going to repeat. And when you get a P0301 code, the number one cylinder in the engine is having a problem with this is that this mixture is not igniting. And the cylinder is basically not working or it's working sometimes and not working other times. And so there's some kind of issue going on with it and it'll have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And a P0301 code basically just points to the number one cylinder. If you were to get a P0302 code, that would point to the number two cylinder and so on and so on. And one thing to note about this code is that if you are getting other codes, so say you're getting like a P0301, but you're also getting a P0302 and a P0303 or different things like this, then that can point to more causes than what's going to be on this list. For example, if you're getting multiple misfire codes, then you might have some kind of issue going on with all the fuel going up to the engine, like a bad fuel pump or all the air going into the engine or a bad sensor or something like that. So basically, if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0301 code? Well, it could be a bad spark plug or a bad spark plug wire. Could be a bad coil. Could be a bad fuel injector on cylinder number one. And if you happen to have an older Chevrolet or GMC with a distributor cap, then it could be a bad distributor cap. And so how would you go about troubleshooting a Chevrolet or GMC with the P0301 code? Well, there's going to be several different ways to go about troubleshooting this. The first thing to do, though, is to go locate the number one cylinder on your particular Chevrolet or GMC. Basically, just Google your engine and like firing order and look at Google images and usually it'll pop right up. The first thing to do is find cylinder number one on your particular engine. Once you find cylinder number one, the main things that you're going to want to check, you're going to want to check and be sure that you got spark going to that cylinder and that you got fuel going to that cylinder. And so again, there's some different ways to go about doing this. One method is that you pull out the spark plug and you check to see what it looks like. You can also check to see if it's damaged or if there's anything wrong with it or anything like this. And once you remove the spark plug, you can match it to what's called a spark plug burn chart. And basically this will tell you how the inside of that cylinder was working, which can in some cases help point you to what the problem is. So say it looks more like this spark plug right here, then that would mean it's running lean, which means not enough gas is going into that cylinder compared to the air. So that potentially could point to a bad fuel injector. Or if it's running rich, that would mean that that cylinder is getting too much gas inside of it. Or if it's completely fouled out like this, then that could possibly mean that there's no spark going to that cylinder. So one method is look at burn charts and see how that spark plug is burning. You can also check to see if that cylinder is getting spark. One of the better methods is to use an inline spark tester tool, which basically one side just goes to the spark plug and the other side goes to the coil. You start up the vehicle and there should be a spark inside of here, inside the tester tool. If there's not, then you know you're not getting spark. But if there is, then you know you are getting spark. These are real low cost. They're usually less than like $10. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what I'm talking about. There is some other methods to go about testing for spark. Well, for example, if you have ignition coils like this, you can't just swap it out with another one and see if the problem follows. So for example, you can swap out cylinder number one, ignition coil with cylinder number two, clear the code and see if the code comes back. And if it does, then you know that injector coil is bad. But the next thing to do would be check to see if that cylinder is getting spark. If you are getting spark to that cylinder, then the next thing to check out would be that injector. Again, there's some different ways to go about testing that injector. You can swap it with another one and see if the problem follows. You can also test it with the meter and see if it's good. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Also, the wiring going to the injector, you can also test that and be sure that's good. And basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, like an open or a short or something along these lines, is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad injector. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad injector. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevrolet or GMC with the P0301 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.